delivering hope to those who need it most, those who struggle with food insecurity. Through a long-standing partnership between Purdue, the Maryland Food Bank, and like-minded companies like McCormick, a first-of-its-kind collaboration is born. The A Day of Delivering Hope. Being the brainchild of Purdue executive chef Chris Moyer created this unique effort to make a big impact on the fight against hunger, which is why we are so happy to introduce Chris Moyer, executive chef with Purdue Farms, alongside Kevin Vetter. He is a senior director of culinary and executive chef with McCormick and Company. Thank you both for being with Thank us you. this Good afternoon. Morning. Thanks for having us. So, uh, Chris, I want to start with you. Can you give us a little background on a day of delivering hope and, and how it aligns with mm -hmm. Purdue? Mm -hmm. Um, well, you know, uh, Purdue has been working with the food bank for over 40 years. Mm. Uh, millions of pounds uh, of food donated, along with uh, a lot of financial support. Um, so um, we really take care of, of that side of our, uh, our business. So um, as far as the idea, um, I was uh, working uh, with uh, one of our affiliate groups, the, the RCA, which is a chef group and uh, we were talking about the month of December being the month of giving, mm -hmm. excuse me, month of November. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, we wanted to do something that was a little different, but we didn't know what yet, and that's kind of when the idea came to me. And uh, so I kind of ran it up uh, the, the, uh, the channels through Purdue, and uh, it aligned with our uh, delivering hope to our neighbors campaign and uh, so they, they said they would love to back it and uh, away we went. There you go. Wonderful. So so a day of delivering hope, what does that mean to you Kevin? Yeah I think it's really exciting when when these type of events start from an idea from, from, from Chris and really bubble up from an individual nugget to something where you know companies like McCormick and Purdue and so many more that were involved with this actually come to fruition. It's really energizing mm -hmm. to, to find that, that you know it's something that, that Chris thought of and, and really brought it through. Um, you know, Chris had talked to Stephanie through uh, the RCA, who mm -hmm. then talked to Larry Tong, one of our product developers, who then said, "Hey, you want to be in involved in this?" And then for all those companies to come to come together is just so energizing. I mm -hmm. bet, I bet. Okay, so let's talk, Chris, a little bit about the meal <coughs> kits. Um, you know, uh, it, it's really amazing. Um, you know, where I was able to get eleven uh, different companies. Here's uh, kind of our sticker oh that we're oh, using okay. yeah. uh, on the box. Um, and everybody uh, donated something. We're about uh, $50,000 of donated goods uh, to, this, uh, to this project. So, uh, but we have a, uh, a, a no antibiotics ever uh, chicken strip that's marinated with uh, McCormick's Old Bay seasoning. Uh, we have some Zatarain's rice also coming from McCormick. Um, we uh, got some vegetables from Paris Foods, which is uh, just down the, the road from mm -hmm. us. Uh, we're using a, a pink Hala Himalayan uh, sea salt uh, seasoning blend from McCormick. Uh, we have a buttermilk biscuit uh, from Mason Dixie Biscuits in Baltimore. Uh, we have a sauce pouch that goes with everything from one of our vendors, Illis. Wow. Um, and, uh, you know, so like I said, all the containers, the box itself, everything was donated. So it's, it's truly an amazing thing that was was done so I'm pretty That's proud good. of it yeah um, Kevin why is why is food insecurity something you're so passionate about attacking you know I, I've never done anything but but food you know I, yeah. I, I started in the restaurant business and I've always been in food and it's really you know disheartening that food insecurity is, is still an issue and and you know it's something that like what we're doing this week and you know take the worry off of somebody for a meal or a week you know the Maryland Food Bank uh, great partners with both Purdue and and McCormick, you know, really can help to, to foster, you know, eliminating food insecurity. And w wouldn't that be great if we could really do that? But, you know, if it, it starts with a meal, and that's what we're accomplishing this mm -hmm. week for, you know, over 5,000 residents on the Eastern Shore. And the, that can just snowball and really hopefully build to where food, food insecurity is just not a thing anymore, which would be amazing. So how can we get in that snowball? How can the community help out? Um, well, you can certainly reach out to the Maryland Food Bank, um, or they have a website, which I know I remember seeing uh, a tab that you can pull down, and it gives a lot of numbers or, and names and places that you can go to, to help, for sure. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, this sounds like an absolutely incredible effort, mm -hmm. and it sounds like you're both very passionate about it. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah for it's, sure. it's been a year in the making, and uh, as Kevin said, a little over 5,000 meals will be out the door on Wednesday and delivered the same day too. As in the day after tomorrow? Yes, or? yes. Wow. How about that? 
Yeah. Well, congratulations Please. on yes. the effort, and thank yes. you for, for collaborating. Thank you very what a much. wonderful Thanks. thing. Thanks for having Kevin us. Kevin and Chris, yeah.